Here's what we know about the Baltimore, Maryland Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse. On Tuesday, March 26, at approximately 1.30 a.m., a cargo ship crashed into one of the bridge's supports, causing its immediate partial collapse. Multiple people, including an eight-person construction crew, were on the bridge at the time of the crash. A level one mass casualty event has been declared, and a search and rescue operation was immediately launched. As of 10 a.m., two people have been recovered, while six others remain missing. One person has been taken to a local hospital, while the other refused treatment. The six missing are believed to be members of the construction crew. Approximately 1.30 a.m., a cargo ship leaving the Port of Baltimore struck the Francis Scott Key Bridge. This caused a catastrophic collapse of the bridge. First responders from the Maryland Transportation Authority, the Toll Authority, and our federal, state, and local partners immediately responded to the scene. At this time, this is an active search and rescue mission. We know there were <clears throat> we know there were individuals on the bridge at the time of the collapse working on the bridge, contractors for us. The crew that was out there working was basically repairing potholes, because you understand that had nothing to do with a structural issue at all at the, at the, on the facility. Um, at this time, one person has been uh, rescued and so far, and <clears throat> our, continue, our efforts continue in, in terms of that. Um, engineers are on site right now, determining both some of the structural issues, obviously some of the debris field, and we'll start to work that, but we'll work hand in hand with the NTSB before we take any further action in that area. The cargo ship, known as the Dolly, is owned and operated by Synergy Marine Group. The 948-foot vessel was headed for Sri Lanka. Synergy confirmed that all crew members, including two pilots on board, were accounted for and no injuries to that group had been reported. The cargo ship had been chartered by Danish shipping giant Maersk. Maryland Governor Wes Moore said that a mayday call was issued from the ship ahead of the crash. The cargo ship reported losing power moments before striking the bridge and warned of a possible collision. Video footage from the scene showed the vessel's lights flickering on and off in the moments before. A giant plume of black smoke could be seen coming from the ship seconds before impact. So at approximately 0140 hours this morning, our 911 center dispatched a call to the Baltimore City Fire Department for a report of a water rescue um, in the Patapsco River in the area of the Key Bridge. As units were responding, they began to receive numerous calls indicating multiple people in the water. At some point during that, that chain of events of calls, uh, we began to receive indications that a, uh, a ship may have struck the Key Bridge. We got further information through multiple calls that the Key Bridge, um, portions of the Key Bridge had actually collapsed. At about 0150 hours, our first unit arrived on scene and reported um, a complete collapse of the Key Bridge. Um, we were also given information at that time that there were likely multiple people on the bridge at the time of the collapse and that as a result, multiple people were in the water. Baltimore Mayor Brandon Moore said workers on the bridge stopped incoming traffic from continuing on in a rapid response. He hailed those individuals as heroes. The collapse has required the response of local and federal authorities, including the FBI and Coast Guard. Multiple smaller ships and at least one helicopter have been used to aid in the search. Sonar was being used to detect vehicles submerged in the water, which is about 50 feet deep. Baltimore City Fire Chief James Wallace said five vehicles, including three passenger vehicles, have been marked by infrared and sonar technology. The Coast Guard's primary mission right now is search and rescue, looking for any survivors in the water. On scene, we currently have three small boats. We also have Coast Guard Cutter Mako, an 87-foot patrol boat. We have a helicopter from Air Station Atlantic City, and we're working with numerous federal, state, and local partners on scene on these search and rescue efforts. Thank you. Mayor Scott declared a state of emergency, which will remain in place for 30 days. Scott also said that a preliminary investigation suggested the collision was an accident. The FBI has also ruled out a possible terrorism link. Uh, everyone, this is a unthinkable a tragedy. Uh, we have to, uh, first and foremost, pray for all of those who are impacted, uh, those families. I pray for our first responders and thank them, uh, all of them working together, uh, city, state, local, to make sure that we are working through this uh, tragedy. Uh, this is an ongoing active uh, research uh, that we're having right now. We're going to continue, as you heard from Chief Wallace, to throughout as long as we have to be doing that, we will do it.
uh, but we have to be thinking about the families and people impacted, uh, folks who uh, we have to try to find and save. This is what our focus should be on right now. And we're going to continue to work in partnership with every part of government to do everything that we can uh, to get us through the other side of this tragedy. Opened in 1977, the bridge is named after the composer of the Star Spangled Banner. The bridge, which spans 1.6 miles and carries Interstate 695 over the Patapsco River, ushers north and southbound traffic around the city of Baltimore. It was last inspected in May 2021 and was found to be in fair condition, according to Federal Highway Administration records. The bridge collapse affects the Port of Baltimore, which is the deepest harbor in the Chesapeake Bay. It is also a commonly used cruise ship port, as well as the number one port in the country that handles automobiles. Our state is in shock. And I want to take this moment to speak directly to the people of our state. To our first responders, I'm in awe of you. I'm in awe of your courage. I'm in awe of your strength. I'm in awe of everything you do for each and every one of us. You saw a crisis and you said, what can I do to help? And our response teams are doing everything in our power to rescue and recover the victims of this collapse literally as we speak. People who, as we speak, are out there are divers, our air assets, people who right now are working to save lives and are doing it because the state asked. And to the people of Baltimore and each and every one of the 6.3 million Marylanders who call our state home, I recognize that many of us are hurting right now. I recognize that many of us are scared right now. And so I want to be very clear about where everything stands. We are still investigating what happened, but we are quickly gathering details. The preliminary investigation points to an accident. We haven't seen any credible evidence of a terrorist attack. Our administration is working closely with leaders from all levels of government and society to respond to this crisis and not but just by addressing the immediate aftermath but also by building a state that is more resilient and a state that's more safe. Moore said reconstruction on the bridge will be a long-term project and declined to comment on when port operations will resume.